All right, and we're back to recording. So, I also think my mic's a little louder than it was before because I turned it up for live streaming. So let's nab that down just a hair. All right. Oh, and last we left off, we were very much approaching the end of the dungeon. Got a little emotional at the end, last end of last episode. I apologize for that. Uh, but we are now moving on. Uh, okay. I forget where I put the thing I had uh, that had all my information on it that I was saving for this. So we're just going to wing it. Also, I did uh, look up how the lamb sword works. Uh, I think I did it in the episode last time, but it is based on time of day, not health of the weapon like it was in Dark Cloud 1. Uh, just in case I didn't mention, I forgot to point that out then. This is a, about a week after recording last episode, because uh, now I have my hard drive back, and I can actually store it all on the hard drive. <laughs> so, yay. Right, we're going to go ahead and go to our aquarium first, though. Uh, we're going to feed our fish. It was a minin, wasn't it? I think it was Minnins we were feeding him. Minnins what he's getting. So yeah. I oh, didn't want to do that. There we go. Alright, we're um, I am currently uploading actually an update video, which is hopefully actually uploading. Uh, slowly, but it is uploading. Uh, explaining uh, sort of what was happening and why it took so long for videos to get out. Uh, announced how much more I'm live streaming now, so hopefully you guys can catch that. Um, this video is not going to be out for a few weeks, so the announcement that I'm live streaming now is I got to do anything, but yeah. I am going to try live streaming a couple nights a week, at the very least. Usually not more than an hour, hour and a half, but I am going to try getting into it more. Um, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and go deeper into Ocean Roar. Uh, who is in our party right now, actually? I think it's Mulane, ain't it? It is Mulane. Okay. Uh, Return of the Serpent. Destroy all enemies using only the ride pod. We are actually going to use the ride pod because I'm a little behind on where I want him at the moment. Um, so this is a good floor to do it on because it is a ride pod goal floor. Also, welcome to the Finny Frenzy. What comes after the fishing contest? The Finny Frenzy. Finny Frenzy? That's right. Contestants race their fish of choice to see which one is the fastest. Great idea, Mayor. You outdid yourself this year. <laughs> So we gotta actually rush through this dungeon floor because I don't want to miss out on the finny frenzy. And that's why I've been secretly raising that fish for uh, all this time. I haven't been doing a real good job of raising it, so don't expect us to win. That is what we have been raising that fish for, um, is to showcase the finny frenzy. Also, we ran into a serpent already. Uh, these serpents are exactly the same as the ones in the rainbow butterfly wood. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna blow it up. powder just chilling, do I? But since we have a fishing contest for an hour, so I guess we don't need to rush through the dungeon floor, but... There. Uh, ooh, we are getting to the floors that have multiple layers back to them now, which means no speed on this floor, but we now have fishing goals again. So we might do some fishing. yellow paint. Hello, Senor Mimi. Look a boom. I literally just sat there and took it. Okay. 
Um, we also still have some songs to go through. Um, I think the Serpent's the only new enemy on this floor, so I'm just gonna go ahead and be quiet, and we'll be adding uh, more songs to this. Um, I do say that, and then I realize uh, our editing is 11 episodes behind what we currently are at, so I actually don't know if we'll have songs left at this point or not. Uh, or songs that would still be necessary to use, anyway, because, um... Yeah, because of that. Because uh, I don't want to use songs from later in the game, as there are songs that are only used once or twice and are very fitting for the moments that they are used in. Uh, if I showcase them before that, it's kind of not as good. So I do have to be careful with that. Um, but even if we don't have songs... Uh, even if we don't have songs to use, there's our Moonstone, uh, we should be able uh, to still speed up the video. Because um, I realized that the one that's currently uploading, that's 45 minutes, we definitely could have cut a lot more out than we did. Man. Pick up the geostone, right? I believe I picked it up. Um, what is the fishing goal on this floor? 50 centimeters? That's not that big. Yeah, we'll go for the fishing goal. Uh, it was at that top corner of the map, right? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Yeah, we can go for a fishing goal real quick. Nice. Nice water is right here. That's a pretty big fish.
55 centimeter bone. Alright, there's the fishing goal. I got all the goals for this floor, which is nice, so I ain't gotta revisit this one. If I were grinding, uh... In this dungeon, this would probably be the floor I'd do it on. Um, the only enemy that's really resistant to any of your weapons is the snake. So... I had to go the other way, didn't I? I did. I was realizing how intrusive the big map is when you're watching. Like, I don't mind having it on, because it's pretty transparent, and that's how I'm used to playing from playing this as a kid. Um, but I do realize it gets in the way quite a bit. I think I said at the beginning of the series I know that, that I know that, and I don't really care what you guys think about us, because of how I like using it. Um, I do kind of feel bad about that, just in the slightest. So it's about time for a defeat our fish again. Um, I just gotta wait for the Finny Frenzy to pop up, because unfortunately the fishing contest was going while we did it, so we actually have a bit more time. Um, I'll get more into what all these stats do. Uh, once we actually get into the Finny Frenzy. So. But for now, I just know that I'm feeding it to increase its stats. We got three floors left. Uh, the Curse Sea. We're actually going to go back out to the train real quick and repair everything, get all of our items and stuff. Uh, and then we'll decide how we want to do the rest of the dungeon. So I'm actually going to pause the recording because I can do that now. I got to keep remembering I can do that. Uh, and I'll meet you guys back here and we'll go back into the dungeon. Okay, I ran around and collected everything. We went to Ferdinand and Polly to get more bread and stuff, and we went to. Uh, Uh, Balance Valley to get Ferdinand's chicken and all that good sort of good stuff. Um, I currently don't have anyone in my party because there is actually a non-combat uh, party member that I do want to bring uh, just to show off the stuff around them. Um, but first, we got to visit good old Donald, and I don't remember where I put him. Also, everything's off center, and I really feel an urge to fix it. Enterhouse. For a scoop. Okay. Uh, what do you sell again? Pretty much the same stuff as your dad now, right? Yeah, pretty much. Alright, so. Uh, with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and move back to the train. We're going to check out some stuff for the Rypod. And pick up that particular party member. Um, they're towards the back of the train, if I remember right. So we'll talk to Cedric first. Uh, let's see, upgrade the right pod. What you got for me, city? Uh, Cedric now has these samurai swords in stock, which would be nice. Um, we're still not getting the voice box. We could get a shield kit. I'm going to go ahead and get another core upgrade. We'll wait on that one for a minute. Um, I do kind of want to show off the Samurai Sword, so we'll go ahead and get a pair of those. Since we're going to buy one shield kit at a time, we'll do that. Uh, we have a capacity of 160. Which, these, I believe, are technically weaker. Then the cans, these are 145, these are 140. Oh no, they're actually stronger. So yeah, the samurai arms are actually stronger than the cannon arms. Nice. Um, you are a lot closer with the right pod though, so there is a likelier chance that it'll get hit. So do keep that in mind. Well, I still haven't showed off some of this other stuff that I've been hanging on to, have I? But I think we might be able to get... Two more shield packs? Maybe. I think one we just bought is more expensive than this one, but maybe. 
Actually, the next one's probably gonna be like 900 something, because this was 800, wasn't it? The Simmer Arms are some of my favorites to use. Um, as for the party member that we're going to go in and get... We are going to bring... Julia with us. You look at her abilities, she bewitches uh, enemies and sells armbands. What armbands you get? That's the stuff we have in our inventory? Okay. We're gonna go ahead and bring her for her bewitching effect. Uh, she can use it twice uh, per time you have it with her. And we're just gonna go ahead and see what that does. I don't think I've even used that all too much myself. Um, I know I've tried at least every NPC at least once, but uh, as you can probably tell from the playthrough, I like sticking more to the NPCs that get my weapons buffs. <laughs> so I don't use a lot of them too often. And Julia is one of those I don't use too often. But if you don't care about the extra stats for leveling your weapon and you're just playing casually, uh, Julia is definitely a good one to go for. Let's go ahead and go back to Ocean Roar Cave. Defeat all enemies with Max's right hand weapon. We've got everything but the wipeout goal in the last one, which is nice. Skelly boy here. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run up next to him, go into our characters, and use confuse. Which will knock down all enemies and stun them uh, within a certain range of you. Which is kind of nice. I'm not sure what those movements were there, Max, but good job. I don't know if that counts against our max only goal thing, but it is a very th good thing to help you when you're surrounded by a lot of enemies. Um, it does not work on bosses though, so keep that in mind.
Yeah, I'd say uh, the lamp sword's pretty good once it's uh, actually, you know, transformed. The half damage is the lamp sword, though. Oof. It's another reason I like having two swords. Uh, so I can use this one at night, and then have another one when that's doing half damage during the day. Cause like, that's way better than the seven damage it was doing to it as the lamp sword. Okay, 180 a hit. Where are this thing's stats right now? It's at 148 right now. It's not bad. Which means it's currently doing more than a base level minimum requirements final weapon from Monica would do. Like, these guys resist sword slashes too, so I'm glad we didn't run into any of these while we were doing half damage, because it's being halved right now because of their resistance to it, or like 0.75 instead of 0.5 or something like that. <laughs> the sword. I hate it during the day, but I love the sword at night. Just time to... Is that everything? That's everything. Alright. Oh, that sword at night is so good. But with that, guys, that is every dungeon floor uh, in Ocean War Cave that we currently have access to. Um, but like the last couple dungeons, we still have the star path that we haven't gone done yet, because we lack the ability to. So we're just going to go ahead and move out of the dungeon floor. And in the next episode, guys, we are going to go ahead and see what the last floor currently has for us. As you know, we can't ever access the boss fight on the final floor until we do all the diorama. So we're going to see what the last floor currently holds. And we'll be doing all of the diorama in the next episode. I'm used to my camera being over like four more feet, so I'm looking over here for it instead of right there, so I'm not looking in the camera. But yeah, uh, next time, guys, uh, that's what we'll be doing. So I hope you enjoyed this episode if you really liked it. Uh, if you liked it, feel free to leave a like. If you really enjoyed it, feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. I butchered that whole outro, but that is fine. See you guys then.